Hey, Zachary, how you doing, Pat? Doing all right? I'm doing great, Leo. Dude, it's great to see your face. It's, yeah, truly it's great is. to see you. It's great to see you. I'm so glad that Don G. Long had the common decency to explain uh, the economics of the United States to us. You know, I was jazzed on that. But I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, Please, I'm just yeah. going to go ahead and hand off this uh, to my handy dandy cameraman here. Here you go. How's it doing, Zach? How's my image? Everything looking good? You look great, and I love the overalls. A true chef. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you. You know the vibes. So basically, folks, what we're trying to get down here is your classic bodega bacon, egg, and cheese. Now, I know a lot of you guys had to flee the city back into your country estates. Maybe your mother or father's second, third, or fourth homes. I don't know. Whatever coast you're on, whatever beach you're on, this is a sort of harken back to that very, very specific feeling of I don't know, just like a man of color getting your order wrong. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to get into here. So the classic bacon, egg, and cheese, first thing you're going to need is eggs. Two, three. I don't really care how many eggs you use in the first place, but I'm going to crack these in right here. Zach, you follow me, pal? Oh, yeah. I'm going to crack these in right here. And honestly, uh, honestly I'm going to leave out the third egg. I don't know why I did that. Cameraman, man, look in there. Wow. These are wow. grass-fed. Look at those yolks. These are grass fed. These have never been caged. These chickens were raised um, in Stafford County, Virginia by my father personally. So you want you want the very best stuff really is what you want. So I'm just going to mm. go ahead and scramble these. But before we even get into that, you're going to want two slices of butter bread, two slices of butter bread. And you just want to touch them. You just want to give them a little. Mm, a kiss from the egg. Yeah. A kiss, of yeah. Egg. A, kiss a caress. I mean, imagine Zach. Did your father teach you how to drive? Yes. I guess imagine that sensation when you think you finally got it and he reaches over and puts his foot on the brake and your knees kind of bunk together. And in that moment, you're a little bit scared, but you're very much reassured that he was right there next to you. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're looking for with these two slices of bread. Okay. Just a little driver's ed lesson and you and Pop Pop are bumping thighs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to slide over here. Come on down. So I made my bacon in this pan earlier. It's dirty, yes, but that's fine. Again, we're making a bodega sandwich, baby. None of this is sanitary at all. I'm going to crank that puppy up to medium-high heat. Medium-high heat. And I'm just going to plop that down to get unctuous, to get accustomed to the flavors, to get into, you know, that. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. We're going to leave that mm. there. I'm going to cycle back to my ingredients this way. I'm going to first wipe my fingers on my clothes, and I'm going to grab some Havarti cheese. Now, I have no idea what Havarti cheese is, but neither do you. So here we go, baby. Now, look at that melt. That's great. Isn't that Leo, nice? I, Isn't I that wanted nice? Yeah, that is nice. I just want to make sure, um, you know, you, you've mentioned your father a couple of times. I just want to make sure everything's good. How, how are you doing? You know, it's been, it's a tough time now. <laughs> Zach! Zach! Zach, Zach, come on, man. Shut your goddamn mouth about my dad, okay? Uh, we don't have to talk about him. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and just cover this bad boy up so he starts melting. Uh, just imagine, it, Zach, do you remember when your dad taught you how to ride a bike? Again, Leo, you're good. You good? I'm perfectly fine. What I'm trying to harken back to is a, a very specific memory in your hearts that will be a very perfect metaphor for exactly how long we want to get these buns underneath here. And so well, when my dad taught me how to ride a bike, it was one of the last times I ever saw him, actually. And basically what happened was he set me off, you know, on the right path as soon as I was feeling good. And as I started to tip over and I thought it was gone, and my confidence was leaving me, he caught me, bike and everything, because he was big and I was small. And in his arms, I was eternal. Um, so – it's kind of like mm. that. You want to take these, you want to take this little bit of toast just to that point where you're almost scared to jump over the edge, but you know that someone's going to be there to help you and support you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these. Leo, over Leo, the just... Yep. Leo, I need to ask you something about yeah. your father. Shoot. And it's, yeah, go ahead. and it's that, did you learn to ride a bike at the age of 15 if he also taught you how to drive a car and that was near the last time you saw him? So when I was eight years old, my father taught me how to drive stick um, because mm -hmm. I, wasn't, I wasn't really good on the bike. I didn't really have that. The, the, the motor skills weren't there. The cognitive skills, frankly, weren't there. Um, so we kind of held off on the bike riding actually until I was 19 years old. And yeah, I remember, I think it was a Tuesday. My dad took me out to the park 
I rode around, and as soon as I had finally gotten free on those two wheels, you know, really spinning that first kind of feeling when you're on your own and you're just cruising down the street, I turned around to see if he would congratulate me, um, and he was gone. Anyways, so we're going to start beating these eggs. Just give them a little extra beat. We're not going to pre-season them. Pre-seasoning's for cowards. Wait for this to get a little bit warm. Wait for this to get going here. And we're just going to go ahead and pour this in real gentle. You shouldn't hear anything. It should be low. It should be slow. What we're doing to these eggs is loving them as they deserve to be loved. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you, Zach? Does that, does that, makes, that, a lot, that makes a lot of sense to me, Leo. I just want to make sure, mm. like, you know, you're good. Because... <laughs> Zach, 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 am I good? Am I good? Anyways, so we're going to come over here and just make sure that these eggs are starting to solidify a little bit. You'll see some holes in it. That's just due to the bacon fat. That is A-OK. -okay. Let's take a gander at our toast. Our toast is coming along swimmingly. I'm actually going to turn that down. That Havarti is coming along real nice. Turn that down to all the way at the bottom. And now let's, let's, let's go in. Let's come in close to our eggs here, cameraman. Yeah. Yeah. Leo, how many Zach, of uh, how many these down? breakfast sandwiches? I do. How many of these breakfast sandwiches have you been making? Because you seem to be so quite I, the expert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I make one every single morning, and also one every single night, and also uh, one for lunch. Just about for the last like six weeks or so. So I really got a good kind of system going down here. Um, it's just that you know, I mean, we were in the kitchen one day. Classic. My dad showed me where the eggs were, where the cheese was. Um, and also where the pans were. Um, and then he taught me how to ride a bike. And then he just wrapped it up, you know. So I, as much as I would like to make some kind of paella, you know, maybe like a, I don't know. Uh... It's okay. It's okay. Anyways, so we're going to come on in on these eggs here. Come on in, cameraman. Come on in. Let's take a look <laughs> at these eggs here. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, oh, yeah. You see that? It's getting a little bit more solid, a lot more solid. We're going to get that around the rim. We're going to get that around the rim. We're going to hold it close to our bosom just for a moment. Just for an instant. We're going to put it back down, and then we can kind of start working around the edges here. So ideally, you want to work with a nonstick pan, but those some bitches are getting pricey nowadays. So just mm. go with an old cast iron. That should do just fine. And we're going to mm. loop, and we're going to loop. Now look at that. Thank you, cameraman. Nice bundled and hugged up there. Hey, yeah. Just warm, you know? In the coldest mm -hmm. months, warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let it out, buddy. Let what out? Yeah. Shut up, Zach. Come on. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. Oh, nice. Okay, here we go. Cameraman, come in here. They got to see this. Grab a plate. Here we go. Bring this guy out here, and this guy here. Look at that bottom, little golden brown, little bacon fat. Very mm. nice, very nice, very melty. Come around here, take, take a look at that. Eggs oh, that's in. some good Havarti. Thank you. Well, <laughs> it wasn't me anyways. I mean, you can only ever attribute the success of any individual ingredient to uh, the ones that came before it, you know? The ones that mm. raised it, the ones that, uh, the ones that made it who it was, um, what was the made of who it was today? Leo, I want to say something to you. As so we're just going to go right on next and get the okay. bacon out. Because if you're going to make a bacon, egg, and cheese, you're going to need bacon. And just going to slap that bad boy down. Slap that bad boy down. Bing, bang, boom. Now, you might think we're almost done, but you forget. You forget. This, my friends, is a bodega bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. You're going to get one ingredient that you did not fucking ask for, but you're not going to argue with that guy, are you? Red onion, that's right. One <laughs> good stripe. Pop that bad boy out. Hachi, kachi, 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 kachi. Go ahead, have a bite there, cameraman. Not bad, huh? All hands right. on, I like it. Hey, <laughs> hands on. That's the only way to really bring something from, uh, you know, it's most essential. It's most... It's the only way to... I don't know, really... You're just going to want to layer the red onion right on top of that. And you're going to fold over, fold over, fold over, fold over, fold over. And just, ah, just for good measure, get one last little fry up going there. Get one last little fry up going there and really get it going. 
metaphorically sending it off to its future. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Now say, if this were an impressionable 18 year old, this would be that goodbye son, I'm proud of you moment. Uh, this would be that moment where, you know, they kind of, you brought in the last box, you're welcoming him to college. You're not going to see him for a while, but you know that he'll always have your back. This is going to be that moment. But instead of that moment, what we're going to do is cut this poor motherfucker in half. Um, and just going to plate it right back up. And consume. All right. Um, Leo, fantastic job with the sandwich. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, and again, Zach. man, like, if you need to talk, like, one-on-one, -on -one, man to man, like, we can, <laughs> please call me after this, okay? Zag. Zag. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a call. All right. Thanks so much, Leo. Leo Dominguez, everybody, from Washington, D.C. Thanks. All righty. Whew. What a roller coaster. Okay, well, we're going to keep this show rolling, everybody.